Hello friends, proper functioning of urinary system like any other system in our body is vital for our health. Many people tend to ignore the seriousness of the elements of urinary system due to shyness, social stigma, etc. However, it is important to learn about urinary tract infections and their treatment as they are very common and can be very serious. So, Today's video is dedicated to urinary tract infection. Welcome to another video by Visual Designers. Myself, Dr. Dimple Dalal. Let's start our discussion on UTI. A urinary tract infection is an infection in any part of our urinary system that involves kidneys, ureters, bladder and urethra. Most infections involve the lower urinary tract that is the bladder and the urethra. Infection of bladder is termed as cystitis and infection of urethra is termed as urethritis. Infections limited to bladder can be painful and annoying. However, serious consequences can occur if UTI spreads to kidneys causing a disease called pyelonephritis. So what are the causes of UTI? Urinary tract infections typically occur when bacteria enter the urinary tract through the urethra and begin to multiply in the bladder. Bacteria may take hold and grow into a full-blown infection in the urinary tract. UTI is usually caused by E. coli. However, sometimes other bacteria can also be responsible such as gonorrhea, chlamydia and mycoplasma. Let us see what are the risk factors for UTI. First is blockage in the urinary tract. Kidney stones or an enlarged prostate can trap urine in the bladder and increase the risk of UTIs. Next risk factor is a suppressed immune system. Diabetes and other diseases that impair the immune system can increase the risk of UTIs. Another risk factor can be a catheter use. People who can't urinate on their own and use a tube or a catheter to urinate have an increased risk of UTIs. Next is a recent urinary procedure. Urinary surgery or an exam of urinary tract that involves medical instruments can increase your risk of developing a urinary tract infection. Females are at higher risk as compared to males. All females are at risk of UTI because of the following reasons. First reason is the anatomical position. Females have a shorter distance from urethra to the anus and the urethral opening to the bladder. Next reason is a sexual activity. Sexual active women tend to have more UTIs than do women who are not sexually active. Next reason is certain types of birth control. Women who use diaphragms for birth control may be at higher risk as well as women who use spermicidal agents. And the another reason for female at a higher risk is the menopause. After menopause, a decline in circulating estrogen causes changes in urinary tract that make them more vulnerable to infections. Now, let us discuss about the sign and symptoms of UTI. Lower urinary tract infection shows following sign and symptoms. The first is a strong persistent urge to urinate. Next, we will find a burning sensation when urinating. Another symptom is passing frequent small amounts of urine. Next symptom is urine that appears cloudy. Another symptom is urine that appears red, bright pink or cola colored, a sign of blood in the urine. Next we will find strong smelling urine. Another symptom that we will find in lower urinary tract infection is the pelvic pain in women, especially in the center of the pelvis and around the area of pubic bone. In case of upper urinary tract infection, 
along with the above symptoms there can be fever vomiting and abdominal pain now when treated promptly and properly lower urinary tract infections rarely lead to complications but when left untreated a urinary tract infection can have serious consequences so let us see what are the complications of uti complications of uti may include recurrent infections especially in women who experience two or more utis in a six month period or four or more within a year another complication is a permanent kidney damage from an acute or chronic kidney infection due to an untreated uti next complication we can find is urethral narrowing or stricture in men from recurrent urethritis another important complication is sepsis a potential life threatening complication of an infection especially if the infection works its way up your urinary tract to your kidneys so what can one do to prevent uti one can take these steps to reduce the risk of urinary tract infections drink plenty of liquids especially water drinking water helps dilute your urine and ensures that you will urinate more frequently allowing the bacteria to flush from urinary tract before an infection can begin another preventive measure can be empty your bladder before and after intercourse now let us see some of the very effective homeopathic remedies for uti first is apis mellifica it is a very useful remedy for urinary troubles where there is incontinence of urine with great irritation of parts as soon as few drops collect in the bladder the urge comes which is constant and ineffectual there is burning and soreness when urinating stinging pain and strangury last drop burns and smarts urine is scanty coming only in drops bloody fitted albuminous with cast urine may be very dark and frothy second remedy is berberis vulgaris it, it is useful in inflammation of kidneys with hematuria patient complains of constant urging to urinate and sensation as if some urine remained after urinating with burning pain in the bladder urine is very slow to flow urine is thick bloody with mucus and mealy sediment there is bubbling sore sensation in kidney there is pain in thighs and loins on urinating urethra burns when not urinating third remedy is cantharis it is useful in any type of urinary complaints such as cystitis urethritis renal colic etc patient experiences a constant and intolerable urging to urinate before during and after urination urine scalds him and is passed drop by drop only a few drops of urine pass at a time blood passes with urine there is violent paroxysms of cutting and burning in whole renal region there is membranous scales in urine looking like bran in water urine looks jelly like and shreddy fourth is equisetum hymen its principal action is on bladder this remedy is useful when there is frequent and intolerable urging to urinate with severe pain at close of urination there is severe dull pain and feeling of fullness in bladder not relieved by urinating urine flows only drop by drop sharp burning cutting pain in urethra while urinating fifth is petroselenium it is a useful remedy for cystitis patient experiences sudden irresistible desire to urinate during micturition there is burning and tingling from perineum throughout the whole urethra there is discharge of milky fluid from urethra there is so much pain while passing urine that it causes shivering sixth remedy is terebinthina it is useful in inflammation of kidneys with hemorrhage which is dark passive and fitted patient complains of strangury with bloody urine urine is scanty cloudy smoky albuminous and has odor of violets 
there is violent burning and drawing pain in kidney bladder and urethra there are many more remedies for urinary tract infections in homeopathy we have covered some very commonly used remedies here so if you have found value in this video please don't forget to like and share it with others if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do so now please provide your valuable feedback thanks for watching bye